come along with me on a day that we are using the Mayo Clinic diet. Here I am prepping my fruit for the week, whether this is going to be a snack or part of my lunch, or if my kids are gonna eat this pineapple in 24 hours, it's super nice to have it chopped and prepped and ready to eat whenever we are. We're making a smoothie here that's actually on the diet plan. This is gonna be a breakfast smoothie. You can see my dog peeking through. She definitely wants some of that banana. For those people who don't like meal planning themselves, it's super helpful to have a meal plan that says, hey, here's your breakfast, here's your lunch, here's your evening meal, and go from there. You do not have to use the meal plan, but a lot of our members find it extremely helpful. Weekly weighing is a part of successful weight loss simply as a checkpoint, just observing the trend. We're walking or actually running into work. I'm probably late. We're gonna try to get as many steps in our day or what we call non-exercise activity. We'll take the stairs when I can just to get some more movement in my day. Over my lunch break, I actually do go to my gym that's conveniently at my place of work to knock out maybe 30, 40 minutes, kind of a mix of cardio or strength training depending on the day, and essentially get kind of right back to work. This is how I meal plan for myself and my family. I grocery shop only once a week, so one day a week, my family and I sit down to decide mostly what our evening meals are gonna be. We have them on the board so that everyone's aware. Lastly, stress management is a huge part, often of weight management, but just life in general. And it's important to find what works for you. I am clearly a tea and a book kind of gal. These are some of the habits that I practice while I'm on the Mayo Clinic diet, but please know that it is really important for you to select not only a program, but select the lifestyle, eating, exercise, and stress management habits that work within your lifestyle.